Hey, welcome to this radio video and uh, this is actually a video to help you guys uh, that a lot of you actually commented on my first video about CW decoding or Morse code decoding and actually with a lot of you sending me one comment that I think is fair um, where do we find Morse code when we're, we don't really know where to find it on the bands? First of all, Morse code can appear everywhere. So just tune around the bands, that's for sure you'll find some Morse code uh, scattered through the bands. But if you're looking for where it could be and want a quick way of finding some Morse code, first of all, the amateur radio bands. So for example, the bottom of 28 megahertz, if you uh, go through the bottom 28 megahertz and the daytime surely you'll find some morse code or cw uh, bottom of 21 megahertz the bottom of uh, 20 meter band 14 megahertz There's also the uh, what's the 30 meter band, which is 10 100 to 10 150. There's uh, 40 meters, 7 megahertz, the bottom of 7 megahertz. And if you're at nighttime, you might want to try 3.5 megahertz, the bottom of the 80 meter band. This is a nighttime only. And if you wanted to count some uh, Morse code in an easier way, um, you have W1AW that has Morse code. that runs from about 2100 hours UTC um, 2200 hours UTC also from 0 hundred hours UTC and uh, 0300 hours UTC <coughs> sorry the frequencies for the Morse code transmissions uh, at night time there's 1.8 oops 1.802 a little lower if you're in upper sideband there's 3.581 7.047 14.047 18.097 21.067 and 28.067 whoops 7 so these are the Morse code bulletins they are only starting at 2100 hours UTC up to around 03 there are some um, periods where it's not there because there's code bulletins and all sorts of uh, uh, you know digital modes but um, go you know go through these frequencies through the night and you'll hear the uh, W1AW which are basically practice uh, Morse code practice for those that want to learn how to uh, you know understand Morse code by ear so they're kind of these Morse code lessons if you want these are easier to um, decode because they are sent by computer so always very stable in their transmissions but or else um, in 
the beginning of all amateur radio bands, you'll hear Morse code. And of course, uh, you know, tune anywhere. Um, you'll be surprised where you can actually hear Morse code appear out of nowhere on some odd frequency. So that's also something to check for. Just slowly tune the bands and try to find some Morse code signals. But the ones that I've shown you here are, you know, sure things. If you're looking for Morse code and you try anything that I've just shown you here, the bottom of the amateur radio bands, you're uh, pretty sure to hear a Morse code signal. And of course, uh, if you are uh, around 2100 hours UTC or later, why not try the W1AW code practice where you'll be able to decode those also. So hope this answers uh, the questions that I've had over Morse code and I'll actually do the same video for every mode so that everybody knows where to find the different signals that I'll be uh, of course showing you how to decode uh, with uh, FLDG. So hope you guys enjoy the video. 73.